Hello everybody, Craptastic Jack here today to tell you guys what I thought about the Need for Speed movie that came out a couple days ago. I went to see it last night, and last night I mean the 15th, a day after it was released. And I want to tell you guys what I thought of it, because it's an interesting movie. Um, for starters, there's like a bunch of storylines and stuff like that, and they all come into like one. And by that, I don't mean like a bunch of storylines, but what I mean is... Well, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but it's just amazing. I mean, this just proves that video game related movies can be good. I mean, this is coming from a Need for Speed fan's perspective. I saw Metacritic, the scores were pretty low. I think it was a 38 last time I checked. But I saw a lot of people like the movie, and it was mo most of the people who liked the movie were Need for Speed fans. I talked to a few Need for Speed fans, and I saw a Black Panther liked it as well. And, um,. But yeah, what do you guys think of the movie? Leave it in the comments, uh, just don't give away any spoilers, alright? So, what can I say about not without giving away any spoilers? Well, for one thing, it stars Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. I am, uh, I'm only on season two of Breaking Bad, so, three seasons to go. But, um, yeah, I like his acting. His acting's really good. Yeah, Kate, Kid Curry and a bunch of other people. Uh, but it's fascinating. It's a really good movie, and there's some generally, genuinely, gen. There's some pretty funny parts, all right. Um, basically, the story revolves around a guy who's framed. A guy, also known as Toby Marshall, who's framed for his friend's murder, manslaughter, and he gets out of prison and immediately skips parole to go and search down the guy who actually killed him. But yeah, I'm not. That's, that's the. That's all I'm gonna tell you about the story. The story is just amazing. Okay. Okay. This. But I can't speak today. Actually, the story is actually um pretty good. But um, it is corny. But it was come on. Wasn't aren't all Need for Speed stories corny? But anyway, the point is the story isn't what makes this movie great. It's the action. I mean, like almost immediately, there's action. Basically, yes. You there's a lot of action. There's like a bunch of street races and stuff like that. Especially when he's um escaping from the cops. It's amazing. I think you saw it in the trailer, but um but there's this one part where he's in Oklahoma and you you have to see it. I like I'm I'm almost about to give away spoilers, but I'm stopping myself because I don't want to give them away. And now there are some things that people are saying, like the Bugatti and uh, McLaren models were a bit off and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. But I really wasn't paying attention to those. I was paying attention to the action and stuff like that. And um, but I also like um how they made the Shelby really fast. I mean, they got it up to 234 miles per hour in one part of the movie. So, <laughs> oops, spoiler. Sorry. Um, I don't think that was a really big spoiler, but uh, <laughs> yeah. But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, what else can I say about it without giving it away? Um, all the actors were brilliantly done. There's a lot of stuff that um, sets it apart from a Fast and Furious movie. And this is act this movie is actually better than the later Fast and Furious movies like Fast and Furious 5, 6, 7. They're, it's really, really, it's better than those, I mean. And uh, hopefully we can have another Need for Speed movie because this one was really enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that's basically about it. Um, about the Need for Speed movie, I tried not to give Boy spoilers. I liked it. I give it a solid nine out of ten. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hopefully raise that Metacritic score a little because this movie is actually really good. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.